Bully fam, bully fam, what it do? TBK West back with another video. Today, I'm about to go to the car auction real quick and check on this car, see what it go for. Probably look at some other stuff myself. I really don't have to go, I can look online, but I'm gonna go see if they got something else. And uh, yeah, man, come on, let's go. Yeah, so. I'm in the old school today, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is my baby. I bring her out every now and then. It's a 1999 SL500. Uh, 72,000 miles. Pristine condition. Top come off, all that rag is in good condition. It's worth about 20. Yeah, about 20. But yeah, so let me give y'all a little backstory on uh on basically me and you know selling cars and stuff like that, man. So basically, uh, it was about 2012, 2013. Uh, I got the license. Uh, I just got inspired. I was under a friend's license and I was just like, yo, I'm about to start selling whips. You know what I'm saying? And I got a little more backstory on that too, man. A little more motivational backstory because I really just manifested the license. But anyway, so I did all the proper procedures, you know, took a, I, I got a lot. It was on Griggs Road, MLK. I got my sign, City Auto Sales with the S. Um, what else? Did all the proper paperwork. You're supposed to, it's 700. Well, it was, I don't know how much it is now, but it was 700 for the license. And you had to have a bond on your lot, I believe for like 20, 30,000. In California, you have to have a bond of 50,000. And uh, what else? It was fairly, uh, I guess I could say, I think they do a background check too. You know what I'm saying? I don't really got nothing crazy on my record. I got some stuff that was, you know, reduced way back in 2003, but I don't really have nothing crazy on my record. So I had got approved. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Basically, yeah, from that point on, I just started selling cars, used cars. I was buying little, you know, flip cars. It basically turned me into a mechanic, bro, because all the cars I was getting had something wrong with them, you know what I'm saying? So I was basically a mechanic. I had to fix them holes because I wasn't about to just, you know, you know how mechanics do. They can come up with any price for whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know nothing about cars or whatever, so. I was fixing the cars myself, reselling them. You know what I'm saying? I even had a floor plan myself. Uh, I never really used it because I didn't like the way the people would be on you, like real tough. Like, where's the car? You sell it. I didn't really like the interest that they add every 30, 60 days or something like that. So, I never really used the floor plan. But uh, the thing. Uh, the reason why I'm telling y'all this story is because I know y'all like, well, why you ain't got the license no more? Why you stopped selling the cars? I was doing other things, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I started to take my music uh, more serious. I started to like put everything to the side and start going hard on that. You know what I'm saying? And also, and when you have a dealer license in the state of Texas, every 30 days, you have to report what you sold and you have to pay taxes on that. And if you don't report it, even if you didn't sell anything, if you don't report it on time, it's like some serious hefty fees, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dealers out here lost their license for that fact. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I know y'all like, why you get ad on your boy's license, man? Why you, I thought you had the license, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason, man. Like, when you gotta report the cars every 30 minutes, I mean every 30 days, it basically uh, makes you obligated to sell cars. You see what I'm saying? If I'm not focused on cars 100%, then that becomes you know, a headache as far as doing that every month. So now, in this case, I get to get added on a family member's license and I don't have to worry about all that. You see what I'm saying? 
But I have been thinking like maybe getting the license back. You know what I'm saying? I have to go get a location and stuff like that. But that's just my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know what's going dizzle. Because I know y'all like, you know, I never lie to y'all, man. I don't have to lie. You know what I'm saying? Keep it 100. It's a lot of stories I got that you probably wouldn't believe. You know what I'm saying? It's regular shit in California. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be out talking like we cocky and stuff. That's the reason, man, is niggas is desensitized, man. When you grow up in the Hollywood's backyard, you go out, you might see your favorite whoever, you know, celebrity. And you might they might you might become their friend and they be like, oh come to the studio. Like all these different things is normal in California, so you know what I'm saying? I don't have no reason to lie to y'all, man. But I'll give y'all a backstory, some motivational stuff, the backstory on me getting a license. So I started to learn about affirmations and manifestations and stuff, right? Around them, around that time. And remember I told y'all I was a, uh, at a temp job. I used to be the dude that drive the cars through the auction. You feel me? Like I said, I never thought I would be, you know, actually buying the cars or whatever. So this is my theory. I feel like I manifested that. Now, how, what I used to do was, I will put pictures, like you know where your laptop is and whatever in your, your desk or in your corner or whatever. I will put pictures that I printed out of big ass cribs, big houses. I put pictures over my laptop. I put stacks of money, big stacks of money, pictures, pictures of big stacks of money on my mirror. So when I wake up and brush my teeth, I see this stack of money. I put it by my door so when I leave the house every day, I see that stack of money. These, This is called affirmations. It's stuff that goes into your subconscious without you knowing. And in my garage where I used to chill and, you know, write and do all that, mind you, I already had the bins, you know what I'm saying? I already had up-to-date bins on rims, you know what I'm saying? But I will put these fly-ass cars on the wall in the garage. And I believe the, the cars in the garage is what got me the dealer lights because I wasn't even thinking about it. It's not one of my goals in life, but it brought it sparked my interest when I, you know, got exposed to getting added on to my friends prior to me having my own. So I believe, you know, that the affirmations and manifestations is real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real deal. Because just me looking at cars every day, the cars I wanted got me the dealer license I mean of course my actions got me the dealer license but it's I don't know how to explain it man you know it's just some it's some uh some spiritual stuff going on here you know what I'm saying but real talk though y'all look into that you can manifest anything you want man you know what I'm saying you can manifest it's possible all you got to do is believe that you that you can have it you know what I'm saying I'll give y'all another example. I don't know this brother, but I watched him and I see how he manifests things into his life because I practice manifestation. So you see somebody else do it, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. His name is Mr. Organic. And if you guys paid attention to this man, he was just going to dealerships, test driving the cars and doing the review for his viewers. You know what I'm saying? So he do the test drive, bam. Now, where the manifestation comes in is when you touching, you smelling, you seeing, like, you know, you feeling the car you want, you in the car you want, you smell it, you feel it, you touch it. That's something, that's that's a part of manifestation, man. Even if you don't got the money and you involve those senses and you believe, it'll come into fruition. Organic doing this every day, every single day he doing this, test driving different whips, getting inspired, getting his, his manifest on, you feel me? Mentally, it's going into his subconscious. And now you can look at where the man is. You can see what kind of cars the man has now. You see what I'm saying? That's a perfect example. So I ain't trying to give y'all no uh, no BS. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just pulled up to the spot. I'm about to go in here, check these whips out. Y'all come with me, all right? Let's get it.
Check some cars. Got a whole lot of whips. Probably like 3,000 whips going today. So we're gonna go check some. I usually do this the day before. I ain't really gonna buy nothing. I'm just showing y'all this shit. But I got a little change on me though. I got like about eight or nine thousand on me. I could grab some, but you know. Let's see, man. I wanna go look at. Let's see if I can take y'all to look at something. Let's see here. Give y'all some game too, man. Look, you here? You get a bidder number, right? So the bidder number, you gotta uh, make sure you never. It's a sticker, so make sure you never wear it. All right, you wear that number on your chest. You accidentally nod your head or raise your hand. They're gonna be like, oh, he bid for the car. Add it to your account, and you gotta pay for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Never wear the sticker on your chest, y'all. Never. <laughs> These cars went through already? Oh, they poop. Oh, yeah, so look, y'all. We got a, a 2007 F-150. I like these trucks. 160,000 miles. This truck normally supposed to go for about 35, 4,000. But since the prices went up, this motherfucker probably gonna go for at least about 65, 7,000 or something. Got my man right here. Let's see if it start up. Oh yeah, started right up. You gotta check engine light. Oh, go ahead, you check it. Oh, cool. You don't work here, huh? Oh, you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all see that bad boy start right up. Check engine light is on, ABS light is on, uh, brake light <coughs> is on, that's easy fix. So as far as the ABS, that could be a hub bearing, you know what I'm saying, for this truck it might cost you like, you know, what, two, three hundred bucks. You got four of them though, so you gotta figure out which one. And you can't drive with an ABS light on in the rain, by the way, so. That needs to be fixed. And then this check engine light, I don't feel any type of shaking. You wanna listen to shake for shaking. And you also, you wanna, look at my foot. You wanna hit the gas. You wanna listen for a ticking noise. I didn't hear no ticking noise. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, it's, it's idling real good. It's not shaky. So you don't got no type of, uh, you, you know, when it's shaky, you might have a, What's that, a uh, uh, bank one or two or something? One of your spark plugs might need to be changed or it could be even worse than that and be like the uh, the valve damage or whatever. So, yeah, man, like I said, uh, if, I, if this was uh, yesterday, I would drive this truck around the lot real fast, see how the first three gears switch. And uh, I'd possibly buy this, man, for the resale. I mean, personally to keep too, but you know, yeah, this is a good truck. There's no way to tell. And uh, if you didn't test it, don't buy it, guys, all right? And so you're going to see some numbers. Well, y'all not going to see, but when you hear, you might see some crazy numbers like, oh, shit, a 1,000? I got that on me. Never make an impulse buy, bro. The impulse buy, you're going to regret it. You know what I'm saying? It look good. There's something wrong with that shit. You didn't do your homework. You got to be take the L like a man. You feel me? So... I'm just giving y'all a little game with this auction stuff, man. Like I said, I'm not really gonna be full-time in selling cars, but 
Hey man, you know, it's just a little knowledge. Somebody out there might want to get into this. You know what I'm saying? It's a little free game right here, man. But uh, let's move on to the next whip. All right, Bully fam, we got us a 2012 528. For those who don't know, this is the car I had before I moved back to Houston in March. And I didn't want to bring it with me to H, to the H because this car, this was a great car. I can't talk bad about it. It came through in the clutch, but all the stuff I had to repair and fix, man. I don't even want to discourage y'all BMW lovers. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, hit my pockets, bro. I'll never buy another BMW again. But, yeah, this is the one I had. I still got the rims in the garage, 19. Put it on something new. So, yeah, buddy, this is a... This is a... You know, I say I paid twelve thousand for mine, so this will probably go. With, it got one hundred and nineteen thousand miles on it, so it'll probably go for like nine or ten. Well, it's supposed to. You know, you never know with the dealers that might mock it up a little bit if people want it. Yes, sir. We got this Benz right here. By the way, y'all, I ran through a bunch of old Benzes doing this stuff. Like, I got every car I ever wanted. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not the new ones, of course, but, you know, the old ones you seen when you was a kid and shit. Yeah, but anyway, this is a, a 2014 Benzo. The Benzo S550. Now, for those who don't know, the, the warranty on the transmissions of these is only at 50,000. So, yeah, go ahead. So the warranty on the, the transmissions is only at 50,000. And you see this bad boy won't even start up. Oh, there we go. She was having trouble starting it up, but that's the reason why the red flags on these. They look good. You gotta get a Maybach, bro. You can't get the S550. Sorry, Benz, I love y'all. I'm not hating. I gotta tell the people the truth. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, moving along. I was gonna hop in that Benz for y'all, but they said they needed it. Anyway, moving along. They be having all types of stuff in here. You see a good little work van right there. Get some good money out of that. You know what I'm saying? They also got auctions with boats and shit. You know, ATVs, RVs and shit. But, uh, let me see if I can find one more car for y'all, man, so we can get back to the auction. Let me show y'all what these numbers are going to focus. I thought it was gonna rain today. We get back to the house, give y'all some dog content, and uh, yeah, you know, keep it going. All right, to the next thing. All right, so heat heater works. Delta Auto. All the AC works. I don't know what year this. Oh, this is 2008, and the, the miles are unreadable. I know this car used to be about three, four thousand. I don't know what it is. It's probably a little bit more, probably in the six range. I don't know. We can go take a closer look. Y'all saw that Dodge Charger, that orange one, it went for like twenty six hundred. It was a two thousand or something. Yes, sir. Two thousand eleven, right here. This truck got two hundred some thousand miles, but it got that that nice paint on there. If y'all can take. See that. See that pattern? They're not. Yeah, he said he wanna keep it. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, that's a nice bad boy right there. What if that was your dog truck? There. Big boy. Anyway, y'all. Oh, look at that old vet right there. That's my type of shit right there. That looks like a 98, 97 right there. Let's go take a closer look at that vet. I'm into the old school cars. I am about to get a new Benz though. Real talk. Got some of those. Y'all like those, huh? Y'all like those? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I'm stuck on this Corvette right now. Let me get back to it. Run into it, need some air. Oh, 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 look at him. 
1994, 135,000 miles, man. Look at that, boy. Got a little paint damage right there. T-top, oh, the top come off. Uh, dash, you need a whole bunch of interior. You have to redo this whole interior. Yeah, I like these, man, these collectibles. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. I'm gonna walk back over over here one time for y'all. Then I'm gonna cut the camera off so we get back to the auction, just so y'all can see. You know, somebody out there is curious about these joints. All right. So what happened? 2017, 77,000 miles. The Hemi RT. See that thing thing? Yeah, see that thing thing. Oh, this look like a repo, y'all. Look at all this shit in here. It's a stick shift too. Okay. My guy couldn't pay the bill. Left his glass. Look, they took my man glasses and shit. Boy smoked menthol Marlboros, bro. That's that's not a brother. He smoked menthol, menthol Marlboros. I don't know. I don't know who smoked those, but yeah. Still got some good miles. Now we got this bad boy right here. This is 6.4 liter. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, two, 2015, 69,000 miles. These vehicles are in good shape right here, man. This vehicle is not for sale. They say this one not for sale. This, this paint job is clearly a lot better. Yeah, this one look like a repo too. Automatic. Uh, I'm not sure what these will go for, guys. So I ain't even gonna lie to you. But a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper than the street. Just a little bit. You know what I mean, smart. You get one of these Lexuses right here. Last for 100 years. But uh, yeah, man. Let's get back to the auction, man. It's cold as hell out here, man. Sacrificing for y'all, man. Get that like button, man. Like to subscribe. Leave a comment, man. You know what I'm saying? To the next scene. Two thousand eighteen Dodge Charger. Challenger. I don't know which one this is. Y'all know. It's only got fifty-eight thousand miles. Uh, I'm still bidding on the last car. They're not bidding on this shit. Y'all wait. Let's see how much you go for, y'all. Alright, y'all see they had 24,000 for the white challenges. I sold it for 25 bands, 2018, 59,000 miles. We got some nice Turo cars right here. You know what I'm saying? Turo car. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I just mind y'all. I just came here to sell my son's car. We did get a good, decent offer, and I'm about to go in there and take this title, and we're gonna get up out of here. All right. Y'all can see I like this Corvette, but it clearly has some issues battery issues alternator issues it's idling real hot I'm trying to keep it on probably cut off and shit so yeah y'all i'm about to turn this title in real quick and uh we're gonna get up out of here let's go let's go check some dogs out all right i got a customer he said you want to come check the dog out at five i wasn't gonna mention it because 
customers be kind of finicky. So we just wait and see when they show up. Yeah, y'all know how it go. But all right, to the next thing. Oh, look at that Impala. You know Impalas is hard. They back now. Look at that. Put some on that. All right. Oh, there go that RT we was looking at. Let's see the RT. Y'all want to see how much it go for? All right, come on. I'll do it for y'all. I'll do it for y'all. For my viewers. Remember, 2017, 77,000 miles. Let's see. Let's see what it go for. Let's the repo. Hold on, that's not it. That's not it. Hold on. That's the last car. Hold on. Alright, here we go, y'all. Hit me RT. Slowly creeping. Okay, back to 23. 23 bands. Grand Cherokee right here smoking. All right, we out of here, y'all. All right, y'all, so I just turned the title in. I think they bought so I got to check, I don't know, but it was a decent offer, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Sir, so, let's get out of here right now. All right, bully fam, we leaving. You know what I'm saying? I got the check right here. Not showing you how much it is, <laughs> but I tell you, it was a respectable, decent offer. Like real talk, like it wasn't like you know, no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's decent, and uh. The only reason why we were selling it, like, that saved me the headache of, like, dealing with people from, you know, online from Craigslist or Five Miles and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot easier and smoother, you know. See, they, I didn't expect them to cut the check today. Usually when they're busy on sale day, they don't cut the check till tomorrow. I mean, the following day, you feel me? So, that was square business. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, about to head back to the crib. Uh, we, we trying to get my son a truck. He want a truck, man. So we get him a truck and swap it out for that one. All right, the next thing, man. Bully fam, bully fam. What do y'all? Yeah, we back at the crib. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Today we taking another look at my girl Cardi, the face of the kennel. One of the faces of the kennel. If you guys look at my logo, her face is on the kennel. As far as as well as Lou, Ferrigno, and Tucson, which is Blue Sun's dad. But we got this beautiful female right here. I love her. She coming back in heat one in another month, y'all. And uh man, I don't know. I've been debating. I was gonna breed her to my partner's dog out in Cali. But I think I'm gonna go with this fluffy, this fluffy I found for a good price, man. And uh, I could breed, I could breed that other dog. I mean, I could breed my uh, one of my other females coming in heat soon to his dog. So, cause I just wanna, you know, I, I bred her to the Merle 
and I bred her to uh, I bred her to Tucson and Lou Ferrigno and uh, you know it's time for us to outsource and get some of that fluffy, fluffy blood, blood in the uh, yard but if you guys haven't watched my previous videos I just love the way she's built uh, it's the reason why she's the face of the kennel um, she's short compact uh, she could have a bigger head but she just look great man you know what I'm saying low to the ground she always fat like when I took her to the show we didn't put her in the show but I took her uh, people were asking was she pregnant she's just a butterball she always fat she always around like that you know what I'm saying but yeah yeah y'all we had a long day today you know what I'm saying we took a journey we learned some new things and we taking a look at this oh yeah we sold a car and now we taking a look at this beautiful Frenchie Cardi I'm about to my bad y'all my SD card went out on me alright so like I was saying man a little motivational speech for y'all Little motivational talk, you know what I'm saying? Basically, man, we know this is a messed up world out here. You know what I'm saying? But just stay focused on the goal, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get distracted. You know what I'm saying? Do it for your family. Do it for your kids. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of, you know, messed up stuff out here. But we were born into this, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, help those as you can. There's nothing wrong with that. Help people as you go. But uh, don't lose focus on the goal, man. Gotta stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got kids, you gotta do it for them. You know what I'm saying? They need you, you know what I mean? But yeah, y'all, so we out of here. Let me stop talking. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content today. And uh, <clears throat> Thanks for watching, man. All right. TBK West, gone.
All right, y'all. So we got Money Maya right here. She filthy. About to give her a bath real quick. You know. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we got pure hemp oil, hemp peppermint, castor oil, soap, straight organic. All right, y'all, so when you're giving a Frenchie a bath, you want to make sure, try not to get water in the ears. It's like, it's a little easier for them to get an ear infection. So we're going to dry her off and let you get some, some ground footage of her playing around. With uh, I think Jeffrey will probably come play with her too, so. He's still available, y'all, also. Young Jeffrey. Got him for a couple, we're babysitting for a couple of more days. And then, you know, if he's still here, then he'll be going back home. But yeah, he's available guys. We're trying to rehome Jeffrey for our friend. So contact me if you're interested. This particular dog right here, this is Money Maya. She is not available. She's staying here at the camp, y'all. To the next scene.